So, pull away down here below the breastbone. Yeah. Make an incision. Straight to the anus. Straight to the anus. Follow up, just like you'd skin a, a deer or anything else, straight up the breastbone until you get to your neck incision that, where you cut the head off. Try not to pop the gizzard because the gizzard's going to be full of a bunch of seeds and, and grain and grass and anything else. Then you just try not to uh, get the meat dirty as you pull away this way. Oh my goodness. And it just comes apart. The robing. De robe. So, I mean, I'm going to wash mine anyway, so I'm not worried if I get my feathery hands all over here. But once so I get. So you're literally pulling the skin right off? Pull it right off because it's yeah. hot, right? It's fresh. As long as you're doing fresh, this pulls off no problem. Oh, a, a step I missed. Pull the wing out to where the, the join is here and you pull the feathers back to that elbow so you can feel that elbow and I should have chopped that with a big knife right there. Which you don't want to drop your clean chicken on the ground. That's what I do first. <laughs> this is well planned out. So if you do that step first your chicken, can you hold that so it doesn't happen again? Take it right at that elbow. Now when I derobe, I can pull, I can reach through where the gizzard is and through where the armpit is and pull that whole, the chicken wing that I've left on through, right? Like that. Yeah. And I've taken the majority of the chicken wing meat and I've left the, the real scraggly. Yeah, there's not much on that. Because it's not worth processing on a rooster. So, same with the feet. I've chopped the feet off ahead of time so I just pull the drumstick through, right? You do the same to the other side. And this is not like exclusive to chicken. This is like literally how any you do bird. any animal. Like, yeah. I mean, I do rabbits this way. I do. Coyotes this way. It's we really do grouse different though, because you normally just step on their wings and pull on their legs, and yeah, then you go. Yeah, I've heard of that. Grouse are a lot technique. smaller. Grou gr yeah, Works. with a grouse, I don't. It's because most people don't save the, the leg meat, but I save my legs on, and the wings on grouse. I do it very similar to how I do the chickens. It's not this slow on our grouse, but I left as much neck on when I chopped the head as I could because I like the neck. Then I'll just hold here on the neck. And pull away. And when you get to uh, the anus here, this is the potential dirty where you could foul your meat. And so I'll just pull until I can feel the tail, the tail feather, and then I'll just cut clean through. Right there. Pull that off. Derobed. Unbelievable. So once it's derobed. Flip on his back. You get it. And you've got this uh, soft sack of all the chicken's guts are in the bottom. And you've got your hard breastbone that comes right down to here. You got this point. Separate the point from the guts. Widen that incision by hand. Reach inside. It comes out as a sack. All of that is your guts, your, uh, your liver. And keep lungs. the heart. The heart's yummy. But yeah, you don't want to reach up too far. You don't want to perforate the. Uh, uh, diaphragm because otherwise you're going to pull out your, your heart and liver which I've already done so if you want to keep your heart and liver you don't want to reach so far that's your liver this is just straight guts intestines stomach that all comes stomach out stomach is good to eat too I've never you, all you do is you flip it upside down, clean it out, wash it, fry it up. I have news for you. That was a hen. Huh? That was a big hen. This one was? That was a hen? That's an egg. Oh, what? <gasps> Whoops. Whoops is right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that, that's good for me because it's better why eating. Why the coloring then? The coloring can be very dimorphic. Well, it's just, yeah. I just it, thought for sure that was a rooster. Um... There was one that I, I thought was I think the was one that was laying down that you got, uh, the fourth one, I think that one was the hen. Okay. So this might be the questionable one. Right? This was the questionable one. There's your heart if you wanted to keep that, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my. Then the gizzard out the top and you're done. 
which I mean that's pretty gruesome when you're doing it all by hand and I could do it cleaner and more methodical if I had a cleaning table yeah but when you're doing it on a sawhorse and a little one good thing wow. not bad time so I would clean this up after I've done the majority I'll come around and I'll just take the excess bath and stuff that I don't want to freeze and I'll just cut make it more pretty cut out this but again all the guts are already out so this is all just body fat in this case the uh, ovary cavity and then for processing down from there I just chop the legs off take the breast meat straight up the bone and peel it away get boneless boneless breasts and then I'll take the body and make stew take the legs make fry and have the breast meat Fantastic.